Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for uh, the triiodide ion. So here we go. We've got I3 minus, that's going to give us a total of uh, three iodines, each with seven valence plus one more electron for the charge. So that's going to be a total of 22 valence electrons, okay, then subtract out the uh, largest multiple of 8, which is 16, which leaves you with 6, and divide that by 2, which gives you 3, and since 8 times 2 is 16, so this is going to be an AX2, E3, 2 and 3 uh, molecule, okay, so let's go ahead and draw the structure, we have 3 iodines, 1, 2, three okay and we, let's go ahead and uh, single bond together and then fill out the external uh, octets so eight on eight on each of these external iodines so that's the 16 electrons there's eight here and eight here so we still have the six more which is this three lone pair count so we'll do two four six three lone pairs or six electrons okay so let's go ahead and check the formal charge to make sure that this is right and before we do that let's make sure we add in our our bracket to show that, th that this is an ion, okay? So let's call this iodine here, uh, iodine one. This is iodine two, and this right here is iodine three, all right? So the formal charge for iodine one is going to be seven valence brought in minus two, four, six non-bonding electrons minus one bond, which is going to equal a zero overall formal charge. The formal charge for iodine two is going to be seven valence brought in minus two four six non bonding minus two and four or sorry one two bonds so that's going to be overall of minus one formal charge for the for this this the central iodine okay and then for the formal charge for iodine three is going to be seven valence brought in minus two four six non bonding electrons minus one bond is over, overall overall formal charge of zero so the net formal charge is minus one which is good because that's what we're looking for it matches up with the the charge on the ion matches the formal charge that, that's that's how it's supposed to work so now let's talk about the shape uh, this is going to be a linear shape okay because you have the two peripheral atoms and then the three uh, lone pair of electrons okay and with linear shape the bond angle is going to be 180 degrees Okay, and looking at the central iodine, there's one, two, three, four, five bonding sites, which means it's going to have an sp3d hybrid orbitals. So there's one s, one d, and three p, so that's five total. And due to the fact that these two iodines are the same, they're both iodines, they're going to cancel each other out in terms of polarity and make this a non-polar uh, compound. That's uh, pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. And thanks for watching.